Care Ohio is hoping to create a more positive American Islamic relationship. With their fourth annual event here in the State House, they are hoping to address issues surrounding education, speech, and religion. We always stand with folks who are um, speak up against oppression, um, speak up against tyranny, um, and we're lucky enough that we live in the United States in which um, those freedoms are upheld. And Muslims in Ohio are fighting against oppressive laws and policies. CARE Ohio brought dozens of Muslims together to learn about existing bills like House Bill 353, which addresses excused religious absences for state colleges and universities. It was recently passed by the House and is currently in the Senate. Do you feel like you learn more here or in school? While this marks progress, eighth grader Karim Azrek says there needs to be policies and laws that address primary education curriculum with the hope of making it more inclusive. For history and that stuff, we just learned about like U.S. history or things that happened in the past, like World War II. Um, but like, I feel like if you learn about like different religions, more people can know more about like the other students in their class. Earlier this year, Governor DeWine signed Senate Bill 181, which protects students' rights to wear a hijab in school sports and extracurricular activities. CARE Ohio was an integral part of that legislation and says while progress is slowly being made, there's still a long way to go. There are laws and institutional um, injustices that happen, it, you know, it's our responsibility to speak up against it. Um, and so that's why we're here today. Jamal Mohammed, Spectrum News.